I got my package from Germany. It took two weeks to get here. Well, let's open it. Wow, look at this packaging. It's so green. This cost me about $154. I did a lot of research on Ori's, Teleriums, what are also they called? Sun, Earth, Moon models. I looked at all of them. This is the one that Aveline chose. The only problem is that it's 19 inches in diameter. It might be too big for most people. You need to have a lot of space for it. So I translated all of this on Google Translate and the one part that I'm really excited about is this one. It says easy hanging mechanics and easy assembly. Easy hanging mechanics could mean that I could hang this up on the wall because I'm most likely moving again and I don't really have 19 inches of space other than the fireplace here. From the picture, you would think this was a box, but really it's just a plastic sleeve over a bunch of panels of wood. Aveline's here! Are you excited? Yeah. So my original plan was to lay everything out on here, but oh my god, there is so many pieces. One of the things I want to do before getting everything assembled was to paint. So I watered down some white acrylic paint and I've been painting layer after layer of the paint. And look what happens. It used to be flat and now it is not. Maybe I added too much water to the acrylic and it just absorbed and warped. I've been drying out the moon face paper under five pounds of weight and it's looking better. Definitely less warped, but it's not completely flat. I want to show you what I did, which is I painted. I painted everything that has print on it and it was hard. I watched this video, which I will link, and how she painted engravings. In her video, she used a shellac and 220 sandpaper. I used a super high gloss and I also used steel wool, but I think it looks better than how it was with just acrylic paint. The acrylic paint like washed everything out like you couldn't see it. So I'm just gonna start step one. Today is the next day because I was stuck on this step. Need 13 rods that are four and a half millimeters long. They go where those little red dots are. So small. So I, I just, that's why I got stuck. My calipers are set to four and a half millimeters. I don't know how you could do this without calipers. Four and a half millimeters, that's pretty specific. All I do is make a little marking. What I was doing was using my X-Acto knife, which gave a clean cut, but it was hard. I did try using wire cutters and that was bad. It just squished it. So I thought, what else do I have to cut wood? I have these. These are bypass pruners, perfect for cutting twigs and branches. And I just put the rod right where my marking was like that and watch. There it is. Four and a half millimeters, doesn't look like it's squished. It looks like a clean cut. And then all I have to do now is stick it in my gear. There we go. So all my gears are ready to get glued. A drop of glue right here. Throw that in there. Sometimes it helps to have a little mallet. There we go. The gears for step one is done. I already did step two's gear, which if you notice the rods stick out. We are on step three and we're almost done with step four, except I needed these two pieces. I was like, where's my little pink number? By the process of deduction, since this is part 11, this must be 12 and 13. And I found 12 and 13 and I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit. I am so annoyed because these pieces don't fit. If I had known that I had to get these two pieces, I wouldn't have wood glued it. What I think what I'm gonna do is get some sandpaper, sand these down. Sun is done. Step fibers. The female symbol wouldn't fit on top, so I had to sand a little bit, which kind of broke that off. Step six, earth complete. Step seven, moon. Step eight, moon complete. Step nine, pointer complete. Step 10, complete. Step 11, complete. Step 12, complete. Step 13, complete. Hi! Step 14, complete! Step 15, complete. Step 16, complete. Step 17, can you please? Step 18, complete. Step 19, complete. Uh, step 20, complete. I found a mistake in step 21. Notice how it says part 45 here, but it says use part 45 and step 20 where it goes under the earth. So part 45 here should actually say 46, which looks exactly the same as 45. And it goes right there. Step 21 done. Step 22 complete. Step 23. 
done. Yeah, 24 done. 25 complete. Fabric almost complete. Step 26, time to set it. So once she set the date, you're supposed to move this gear inside there. And right now I am struggling to get this gear to fit in there. I figured out why I can't get that part of the Ori into here. It's because I mixed up 51 and 52, I believe. There should be a hole in the middle plate, but I was able to stick a wire through a hole there and not through there. And so this little rod is sitting on top of the second plate when it should be going in. So I'm gonna go drill a hole right into there. I was able to get the Ori to fit in the stand. Once I drilled out that hole, now it can go in. So I realized something about the Ori. This is not correct. Notice how the gears aren't moving when I turn this around. What I did was I held this gear in place and look, see, everything moves. I guess I'm supposed to glue the gear in. They didn't say to glue it in. Did they? Gosh. If I glue this down there, then it should work. But then you won't be able to set your Ori after that. Check out that piece. Check out this piece. I just cut out the part of the template where that piece was. It seems to make a lot of sense to have that be the cutout on that top piece. But check this out. See? Now everything moves like it's supposed to. All right, it's done. This is where I'm gonna place it and where I think most people would think to place it, which is on the wall. There we go. There it is.